Hello everyone, this is Harley from Garden FL and today we are going to do a review on our mame tree here at our farm in Punta Gorda. Now I had a few people asking to, to do an in-depth review on how the mame is doing ever since I planted it in the ground. So I figured we're going to do a review to review how it's doing so far. So right here is the mame sapote. Now this is actually the pumpkin pie variety mame sapote. And this variety I actually got from Leaf in West Palm Beach. And apparently this is a dwarf variety so when i got this i may believe it or not it was actually already flowering and unfortunately none of the flowers actually set on the mame but i believe it was due just because i was transferring it to the ground but as you actually see on the mame it is actually pushing out brand new growth so as you see on the mame there's actually brand new growth buds all along this so i'm really happy that it is already trying to get established and push out new growth ever since it was transplanted to the ground now i was checking to see if any mame actually said but i've also realized that on the actual bark of the mame i believe i do see new flowers coming now i did buy this tree and it was full of flowers already but i believe the transplanting of this tree to the ground made it not hold any fruits or set any flowers so i'm really looking forward to this rainy season and i'm hoping that you know the heat and humidity that we have will actually bud some of these because i believe some of these are actually flowers on the mame and as you see going down the mame tree as you see here is here's the bottom of the mame as you see it's actually pretty thick as you see i just realized some activity right here this might be a new bud spot because the mames do flower off the trunk of the tree or I might that might just be a new branch i'm not sure what that is but as you see overall the mame is just a nice beautiful tree the leaves did look a little more healthier when I planted this tree, but I do believe that it is just because I have no really set up irrigation right here. The mame is struggling a little bit, especially that we are in the dry season, but being that we're in March, we almost, we're almost to the rainy season in springtime. So I believe this will bounce back. As you see also right from above, you see it's trying to push new growth. This is from the top of the mame, as you see right there. You see that the mame is actually pushing out a new leaf. Now I actually heard mame drops his leaves for a lot of reasons i heard that they are also deciduous like twice a year and sometimes they may just drop their leaves if they are thirsty and you're not giving them, them enough water or if it gets too cold in your area they might just decide to drop their leaves so so far this one hasn't dropped their leaves but i have noticed that the leaves were actually much greener before i planted it in here and as you see just because i believe the soil health too is not the best over the years i'm going to actually start amending the soil more because as you see it's just mainly sand in punta gorda but over the years i do believe that this soil will be very much healthy although all also, I heard these mames don't really need much as far as the best soil to produce and just the fact that it's pushing out new growth and new flower buds all along this branch as you see those are little flower buds tells me that you know it's, it is reacting well to the soil here in Punta Gorda. Now the reason I also planted it here is because this mame gets really good sunlight most of the day and it does have a good spot where it can really grow big so I'm really looking forward for this mame to really grow big in the spot that it's in as you see it's just overall a really beautiful tree and it's kind of pointed more towards over there where it gets the sun better but overall i'm really happy that this specimen is just continuing to thrive here because i've heard that this tree can be very finicky and also i have a mame back in bradenton florida back in my house but it's actually not doing as good as this one actually when i planted it it lost all its leaves and the mame i have at home is actually not even flowering and this one is trying to is trying to push out new buds as well as trying to push out new growth in multiple areas which my mame at home is not doing so i really like this mame overall and i'm really happy that the tree is responding somewhat well although although i could fix some nutritional deficiencies on this tree it still looks really good and i'm sure it will grow very well so thank you guys so much for watching this video on my mame if there's another fruit tree in my farm or garden that you want me to make a video about a review please let me know i would love to just make a quick video and show you the progress of it and how much it's changed since i planted it in the ground thank you guys so much if you haven't go get you a mame sapote because they produce a big beautiful fruit that is actually really good so thank you all again i hope you have a good day bye bye now